X-Wing pilots from across the galaxy, welcome to the Sith Taker YouTube channel for episode 4 of Sith Take 2.0, our X-Wing miniatures match report series showing off Stockport's finest X-Wing pilots. Today I'm joined by Jed and Rich. Let's meet those pilots now. Hi, I'm Jed. I've been playing X-Wing for about just about a year now. Yeah, my favourite list in 1.0 was Pat Han. Hi, I'm Rich. I've been playing X-Wing for just over a year and a half. My favourite list in 1.0 was uh, Dash with BB-8 Intensity Pull, or as he's also known, Proper Pull. Hi, for today's match I'm bringing Dash. We've got Perceptive Co-Pilot, Bistan, Trick Shot and the Outrider title. Uh, he's going to be partnered with Wedge, who's got R2-D2 and S-Files. Today I'm flying a four ship rebel list. Uh, it's got Nora in a Y Wing with an R4 Astromech and proton bombs. It's got Lieutenant Blount just naked. Um, it's got Sabine Wren in an attack shuttle with Debris Gambit. And it's got Luke Skywalker with S Balls, an R2 unit, and supernatural reflexes. Right, so for today's game, uh, Rich's list is one point more than mine at 200 points. Um, so I'm thinking of giving him initiative because I want to know where Luke is. Uh, not letting him barrel roll out of the way and out dodge uh, me. So hopefully that might give me the advantage in the match. Uh, I'm 200 points and Jed is 199, so he's getting to choose initiative. I think he's going to give it to me so that my whole list moves before him, so that he can see what I do and then choose what to do with Wedge and Dash because they can both reposition after they move. Uh, so this is probably going to be quite tough. So for the rock placement, I'm really hoping to get a good cluster of rocks, the debris preferably, in the middle, nicely clumped together so I can fly dash around and use that to dash his ability with his outrider title. So on obstacles, um, we've both brought debris, um, and having played a lot of dash in version 1, I know that he wants a big tight cluster of rocks in the middle that he can cycle around the outside of, so I'm going to do everything that I can do to stop Jed from getting that. Alright, so for the match, I'm going to be giving you an initiative, Rich. So on your mic. Well, okay, the rock placement went okay. Rich did pretty much what I thought he was going to do, try and get as many in the corner as I could, but I've still got a clump in the middle from what I placed. So that went okay, uh, could have gone better. Um, I've put my three uh, in different corners, um, so spreading them out as much as possible. Going to make it hard for him to kite around the outside if that's what he wants to do. Uh, but he still managed to get himself a little set of three uh, in a triangle in the middle. Uh, so that's going to make my life tougher. Right, so the deployment wise, I'm going to deploy Dash around the middle of the board to hopefully fly around that centre area where I've got the rocks. Uh, Wedge is going to go on the outside, hopefully flanking in. So on deployment, I'm going to deploy Luke Skywalker separately to the other three ships um, and use him as a rabbit. Uh, hopefully Jed will take the bait with Dash. Um, that will allow me to get Nora into range one of Dash, which is my, my aim in the first two to three turns. Uh, because once Nora's in range one of Dash, everything in my list starts getting better. So I've got initiative, so I'm going to put uh, Sabine Wren down first, uh, who is initiative three. So my general strategy in this game, hopefully keeping Dash around the middle, using them debris to my advantage with Bistan, four ships there flying in his list, so I should be able to get my double shots away quite well. Uh, keeping two ships in arc shouldn't be too much of a problem. So my general strategy in this game is going to be to try and kill Dash first. Um, but if I'm given the opportunity to kill Wedge, I'm going to take it. Um, there's a nice big alley down uh, towards where Jed has put Dash, so I'm going to see if I could get my three ships heading down that and see if I can uh, scare his Dash away as well. So with Wedge, I'm going to fly down the outside, flank in and try and get Luke early because I feel endgame he's quite uh, strong. So I'm going to activate my first ship, uh, which is Sabine Wren, uh, Pilot Sail 3. Um, she's going to do a uh, 3 forward. And I'll take a focus action. So the next ship to activate is Lieutenant Blount uh, on initiative 4, and he is also doing a 3 forward. And he will take a focus action. Next ship to go, Nora Wexley at initiative 5. 
She's also doing a three forward. And focus. My last activation is Luke Skywalker, and he's doing a one forward. As my S4s are closed, I'm going to boost one forward. Okay, now it's dash to activate, and we're going to be doing a free bank. And he's going to be taking a focus action. Because it's set to co pilot, I get an extra focus token there. And now it's wedge to activate at pilot skill 6. Uh, starting with his S4s closed, he's going to be doing a four straight. And for his action, he's going to do a boost forward. So that's it for turn one activation. Uh, we're out of range for any shots, so clean up and on to dials for round two. So turn one went pretty much as expected. He's moved forward at a fairly steady pace. Uh, I feel he's going for dash first, which is uh, what we expected. Um, we're quite happy with the position on position of the ships uh, after turn one. So that first turn went as I expected, um, I thought Jed would push Dash towards the clump of ships uh, because he's got this done so he can get two shots, um, but only if he's shooting at different things. I think he's going to keep with that tactic. So in turn two, I'm expecting him to bank in with the three ships on the outside and come after Dash. With Luke, I'm expecting he might uh, bank in towards the middle as well, going for Dash as well. So this turn, I think he's going to continue moving Dash forward. He's going to try and drop himself in behind one of the debris to activate trick shots. Um, so I'm going to pile my three ships forward relatively quickly and also bring Luke in, hopefully to pincer Dash in a horrible place where he doesn't want to be. Um, it's either going to go really well or terribly badly. So let's see what happens. Uh, I'm looking to turn in with Wedge and go after Luke and also bank to the right with Dash going after Luke as well. So I'm going to activate Sabine first. Uh, she isn't going to do any pre-move move actions, uh, which is her pilot ability, um, and instead is going to do a two bank. Then as her action, I'm going to barrel roll. And then I'm going to link that to an evade, which because she has debris gambit, is a white action. Next to move is Lieutenant Blount at initiative four. He is doing a two bank. And his action is a focus. Next activation, Nora Wexley. Three bank. And she'll take a focus. So Luke activates next, I'm going to open his S-foils uh, and then I'm going to spend a force charge to barrel roll him using supernatural reflexes and then I will reveal my dial which is a force straight and my action will be to target lock dash. Right so now it's dash to activate and he's going to be doing a one bank and with his title because he's moved over an obstacle I can remove the red token which is a target lock and for his action he's going to be taking a focus with respect to co-pilot I get two okay and now it's wedge to activate he's going to open his S foils and reveal his maneuver he's going to be doing a hard three and for his action he's going to take a target lock on Skywalk yeah that's the end of the activation phase we're going into the engagement phase now uh, First to shoot will be Wedge, and he's going to be firing on Luke Skywalker at range two. Three dice at Luke, and he's going to spend the target lock. Okay, so just two hits. Luke only gets to roll one dice because Wedge's ability. And I'll spend a force, and I will lose one shield. So I've got two initiative fives at Luke and Nora. I'm going to activate Nora first, and she has a range three shot into dash. So Nora has a two dice primary gun with a focus and I'll spend my focus for two hits. Okay, and because it's range three, Dash has three dice. Uh, he's going to spend a focus and dodge that. So now I'm going to activate Luke, uh, who has got a range one shot into Dash. Come on Luke Skywalker! Uh, so I'll spend my force for three hits. Okay, and Dash has two dice. Uh, he's blanked out, so he's taking three shields. Right, okay, so now it's dash to activate. Just going to check if I've got range. Nope. So I've only got Ark on Skywalker, so I'll fire a three dice attack at Luke Skywalker. So because it's range one, dash is, uh, gets one less dice and doesn't get a range one bonus, so it's just three dice at Luke Skywalker. And two hits. So because Luke has been targeted, he's recharged one force. 
but he doesn't need it and gets natural evade. Yeah, so next to activate is uh, Lieutenant Blount. Uh, he's got a uh, range three, not obstructed shot, just. So because Sabine was out of arc for the this stand uh, double tap, uh, Blount is shooting. His ability gives him an extra dice if one of his allies is at range one of his target. So because Luke Skywalker got caught plum, uh, he's getting to roll some extra dice at dash. For one hit. Okay, and because it's range three, Dash gets an extra dice, so three dice rolling. Uh, it's blanked out Ooh. again, so he takes another shield. Uh, last to activate everybody's favourite Mandalorian uh, is Sabine, uh, but she's not chucking bombs this time, she's shooting Dash at range three through an obstacle. So uh, because I took an evade token, I've got no mods on this, so let's see if the gods are good to me. One crit. Okay, because uh, range three and through a rock, I get two extra dice, so four dice. And uh, we dodge that one. So that's it for the uh, engagement phase. Uh, it's time to do clean up and then back to dials for the next turn. Right, so the movement went okay. I didn't expect Skywalker to come quite as fast at me. I thought he would have been at range two, not range one. So that was a bit unexpected. I still had a shot at him, but I uh, did the donut hole, got less dice to fire at him. And the exchange didn't go in my favor, really. That activation phase went badly for me. Um, I really didn't expect him to turn his dash over that debris. I thought he was going to go straight ahead. Uh, so he's caught Luke in two arcs. Um, so I was expecting that to go really, really badly. Um, so with the engagement, started off well. I, got, I did just get a shield off Skywalker, but my di green dice really let me down a bit. And four shield off dash, so the engagement really went in his favor on that turn. That engagement went much better than I thought it was going to. Uh, I've taken all of Dash's shields in exchange for one shield on Luke and I've got an R2 unit so I can run away and recharge that if I want to. Uh, so I'm really happy. Right, so I think he's uh, the three ships on the outside are going to continue to try and hunt Dash down. I'm thinking of turning away, get as many, hopefully get as many ships in the arc so I can use Bistan and get a double shot on a few ships. Um, I'm just going to move Wedge slightly forward, keep, hopefully keep him in range of uh, Luke Skywalker. To take some more shields off him, hopefully. So next turn, I think Jed is going to continue being aggressive. He's either going to blast forward with Dash to try and get two shots out of his uh, rear cannon, or he's going to turn to try and catch me if I've turned. Um, I'm going to go after Wedge this turn. So I'm going to activate Sabine first. Uh, she's doing a two forward, but before she moves, uh, she's going to do a barrel roll, um, and then link that barrel roll to an evade, which is white, because she's next to this debris cloud two forward. Interaction is focus. Next to activate is Lieutenant Blount, who is doing a two bank. And his action is a focus. Next to go is Nora Wexley. She's doing a big three bank. And her action is a focus. Um, Luke activates next. He is doing a three talon roll. To the left, and I forgot that debris was there. Fortunately, I don't end up double stressed. Okay, and now it's a dash to activate, and he's going to be doing a hard free to the right. Uh, so, with it being dashed, the debris doesn't affect him. Uh, for his action, he's going to take a focus. Yeah, so now to activate is Wedge, and he's going to be doing a one bank. For his action, he's going to take focus. Okay, it's the start of the engagement phase. Uh, Wedge at initiative six is going to fire first. Hopefully, uh, we can do a bit more damage this, on this turn. Okay, so Wedge firing. Uh, it's range one, so four dice. And he's going to spend the focus token. Oh, that hurts. Luke's got one green, one evade. So I take a shield and two crits. One shield and two crits. First one. Fuel leak. So the second one, I immediately take the fuel leak damage and then take the second crit, which is a panicked pilot. So I've got another two stress tokens. That's a very sad look, Skywalker. So I'm going to uh, activate look. I've got a couple of decisions to make here. Um, I've got a range one on either uh, wedge who can really hurt me, as you've seen, uh, but I've already put some pain on dash. Um, Wedge has no tokens though, so this seems like an opportune time to try and kill him. Uh, so I'm going to, at the very least, shoot with, uh, shoot Wedge. So range one shot, look into Wedge. And I'll spend both of my force tokens for three hits. Okay, two green dice for dash. 
Uh, one, one of eight, so it takes two shields. So now that Luke has stripped a wedge of his shields, I'm going to take a shot with Nora at range three into wedge as well. So two dice with a focus and two hits. Okay, range three, so three dice for wedge. Uh, no evade, so that's two hits going through. Yeah, so next up uh, in the engagement phase is dash. Um, with him having Bistan, you can get the option of shooting at two ships because he's focused up. Uh, so first off, I'm going to fire at the attack shuttle at range two. Yeah, so first up, dash firing on Sabine with four dice. And he's going to spend his focus token for three hits and a crit. So whatever happens here, this is going to hurt. Uh, so I'll spend my evade token and take hit crit. The crit is blinded pilot, she won't be able to mod her shot. And so with Bistan and the crew, I'm going to take my next shot at Nora Wexley, which is ranged. So four dice for dash. Uh, and I'm going to spend the focus token for three hits. Nora has a focus and two dice. Three hits. Two shields and one hit. So next to activate is Blount. He's got a range three through a rock into wedge. Or range three knocked through into dash. Uh, so I'm going to continue the pressure on Wedge. So Blount gets three dice again because Luke's in range one of Wedge. Wedge only has two hull left though, so while he's throwing four dice, he's got no mods. And I'll spend my focus for three hits. Uh, range three for a rock, so I'll get four dice. Oh, <laughs> Naddies. Last to activate again is Sabine in the shuttle. Uh, she's got a range three against Wedge or a range two against Dash. I don't think, with not being able to mod my dice, I'm going to be able to kill Wedge this turn uh, at range 3, so I'm going to take the range 2 against Dash. So no mods on this. One hit. Okay, two dice for Dash. Um, dodges it. So that's the end of the engagement phase. Um, really wish I could have spent that focus uh, with Sabine, but with having blinded pilot I couldn't. Uh, so it's time to uh, try and figure out how I can get this back. So in that activation round, uh, he caught me out with Wedge. I wasn't expecting him to one bank. I thought he was going to come forward um, and try and put pressure on the pack of ships again, using Dash's double shot. Uh, so yeah, he, he caught me. Yeah. So with the activation, um, I didn't quite expect uh, Luke turning in behind Dash. Felt the activation went quite well though. Wedge got right into a range one jousting spot for uh, Luke, which was a good position for me. Uh, so, yeah, that engagement was dreadful. Um, Luke Skywalker has got one hull left and is triple stressed. Um, Sabine has got blinded pilot, which is going to use an action to get rid of it. Um, otherwise, I won't be able to mod any of my attack dice. Unfortunately, she's got a bit of action economy, so I can I can still do that um, to an extent. Um, but yeah, that went really super well for Jed and less well for me. Um, so I think in terms of decision making, how the engagement went, um, shots on wedge went really well against Luke. Managed to get four hits through, two of them being crits, which were really devastating to Luke. Got his trip now triple stressed, which is good for me. Uh, in terms of dash, I used his ability to full effect, uh, managed to get two shots away, uh, and he didn't take any damage back. Uh, Wedge is a little bit damaged, but I can hopefully get some of that shields back with R2. So one thing that I really, I think as soon as I did it, realised I screwed up on was switching my initial target uh, for Luke from Dash to Wedge. Um, if I'd been able to force Dash to spend one of his focus tokens, um, then he might not have got that second shot. Um, going into the next turn, I'm not too sure what he's going to do. I mean, it's Luke Skywalker, so he doesn't quite need actions. So he might not try and get the actions off with blue maneuvers. Um, with Wedge, I feel I'm just going to go away for a turn now, get a couple of shields back, and come back to the engagement. Hopefully, I can keep Dash in Luke's arc and finish him off as he's only on one health. Next turn, I basically have to disengage with Luke um, and try and get some shields back. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge uh, to find some way that I can do that. Um, so I think I might just roll him forward and bump him and hope that um, Jed flies all of the rest of his ships away. Um, the other guys, I'm just going to try and kill Box Wedge because I'm expecting him to fly Wedge away to regen shields as well. So back into activation and we start again with Sabine. Uh, again, she's going to do a barrel roll before she activates. And then I'm going to link that into the evade action. And I need to check if I'm in range one of this debris to see if that's white or red. I'm in range one, so it's still a white action. And then reveal my dial, a one bank. 
and I'm going to use my action to flip my blinded pilot. So next to activate is Lieutenant Blount, and he's going to do a four straight. Uh, so because I didn't read where Sabine was going to finish, he's going to bump into her, and so gets no action. Uh, next to go is Nora, I'm doing a slow one forward with her, I'm trying to catch Wedge as he comes out, and action to focus. So last to activate for me Luke Skywalker, because I'm triple stressed, I'm forced into a blue move, uh, so I'm doing a one straight which will clear one of my stress and cause me to bump straight into Wedge. So at the start of activation Luke Skywalker has taken a disarm token to flip an R2 charge and gain a shield back. So activate his dash, uh, he's going to be doing a one bank. Uh, for his action he's going to do a focus. Okay, next to activate is Wedge and he's going to do a, be doing a four straight, closing his S files on moving. For his action he's doing a boost and at the start of the activation phase he also took a disarm to charge a shield back off R2. So start of the engagement phase. Um, Wedge has got a disarm token so he won't be shooting this round and neither will Luke, uh, so it's over to Rich for firing Nora. So we'll activate Nora at initiative 5. She's got a range 3 shot, not through 3. Into dash. Uh, so Nora, 2 dice attack with focus and 2 hits. Okay, range 3, so it's 3 dice for dash. Uh, and he'll spend one of his focus tokens to take no hits. Okay, so now it's dash to activate. Uh, he's going to take a range two top into Sabine. Okay, so it's dash to fire on Sabine with four dice. And we'll leave that at just one hit. Rated. Okay, now so because st I've still got a focus token, I'm going to use my best and crew and fire on Luke at range two. Right, come on, dash. We've got a good chance here of taking Luke down. We'll spend the focus token for two hits. So Luke, just evades it because he's the premier Jedi in the galaxy. So we'll activate Lieutenant Blount who's got a range 2 shot, 3 inch 3 shot into dash. So Blount rolling only 2 dice because there's nobody in range 1 of dash and rolls nothing. So next to activate is Sabine, uh, she's just getting a cheeky range 3 shot into wedge through this debris cloud. So no mods for Sabine but hopefully I can push a damage on. One crit. Okay, four dice for dash. And he dodges it. Wedge even. Okay, so that's the end of the, uh, this round. Got some thinking now and decisions to make on where best to go next, uh, working out where he might go as well. Yeah, so I'm quite happy where the movement ended up. Allow me to get my best stand shot uh, away with two shits in my act, which is quite important to the list, and taking them down as fast as I can. Had to move Wedge out to just gain some shields up so he didn't do a lot this turn. So that activation, I thought, went quite well. Um, uh, I've got shots on everybody with everything. Okay, so in terms of the engagement itself, I had to spend a focus token to dodge a shot from Nora on dash. So I only have one left, so when I come to do my shot on the attack shuttle, I didn't spend a focus to make sure I could have a shot on Luke as well. Uh, the shots on Luke didn't go as well as I was hoping for. Uh, I would have liked to potentially finish him off there. Unfortunately, so on the engagement itself, uh, the um, the shot against uh, Sabine was perfect because I forced him to choose whether or not to take a second shot and not kill her, uh, but put damage onto her, or be able to take a second shot with a mod. Um, and then when that one didn't work out either uh, against Luke Skywalker, I've basically got away that turn scot free. Um, I've not done any damage to him either. Um, but yeah, I'm happy enough. Right, so for next turn, I feel, well, Luke's still double stressed, so he's going to be forced into a blue manoeuvre again. So Dash is just going to bank forward and keep him in arc. Wedge is going to turn around, take another disarm, but coming to hopefully coming back into the battle soon. So I'm a bit torn as to what Jed's going to do with Dash this turn. I'm pretty sure he's either going to K turn or Talon or Wedge to bring him back into the fight next turn um, and regen another shield, um, maybe another two um, on the next turn as well. Um, on Dash he might either just one forward to keep his gun in play on all of my ships um, or he might bank round um, to set himself up for future turns. Um, whichever he does, I'm going to put three guns on him and I'm going to try and PS kill him with Luke um, or kill him with Luke. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, so first activation is Sabine. Uh, I'm going to do a pre-move boost using her ability. And then I'm going to do it too hard. Uh, 
action will be a focus. Uh, so activate Blount next. Uh, he's doing a three bank and then focus. So I'm activating Luke next, making sure that I've got my S-foils open, clearing another stress uh, and doing a one bank green. I'm going to bump into the back of Sidney. Uh, and lastly activate Nora, who's doing a two bank, which is a green manoeuvre for her because of her R4 astromech, but it doesn't really matter. Misses that degree by absolute hair's breadth and takes a focus. Okay, it's dash to activate and he's going to be doing a one bank. Uh, for his action he's going to take a uh, focus, gaining two from perceptive pole planet. Yeah, now it's uh, wedge to activate, I'll reveal the dial. Yeah, it's going to be a free talent, I'm going to spend another R2 and take a disarm to gain another shield back. Uh, so wedge is now stressed and disarmed, but he's back at full shields. So that's it for this turn's activations and we'll move on to the engagement phase. Uh, no shot from Wedge uh, because he's miles away and disarmed. Uh, so um, the first shot is going to be from Nora uh, who has got a range 3 obstructed shot against Dash. So two dice with a focus and I'll spend my focus because Dash can't shoot Nora. Okay so four dice with the debris in uh, range. Okay dodges that. Next to activate Luke. He's got a range 3 unobstructed shot into dash. So here comes Luke Skywalker. And I'll spend a force for 3 hits. Okay, 3 dice for dash. Uh, I'll spend a focus token to dodge 2. Yeah. So now that's dash down to half health after taking that first hit. Uh, he's going to take his first shot. I've caught for 2 shots. Um, we're going to go for the attack shot first. At range two. Okay, four dice for dash. Let's hope these are good. Come on. Ooh. No, I'm gonna leave that. Yeah, so now I'm gonna take a second shot with Bistan uh, on Luke. Hopefully finish him off this okay, time. Four dice for dash. Come on. And um, we'll spend the focus token this time for three hits. Okay. Luke gets a force charge back because he's been targeted. And he spends it immediately. Take one hit, and that's a shield. So next, I'm gonna activate uh, Lieutenant Blount. He is at range one of dash, so this is going to be three dice. Three dice and a focus. Three hits. Okay, two dice for dash. Uh, dodges one, takes two more hits. And last again, Sabine is going to take a pot shot at dash at range two uh, with a focus. Oh, one hit. Okay, two dice for dash. Takes a hit. So that's engagement finished. Um, it's been a really interesting one. Dash has only got two hull left. Um, Wedge has flown off and got two shields back, um, but also has two hulls, so he's going to come back into the fight as a menace. Um, on my side, I've got uh, Luke with uh, only one uh, hull left. Sabine has uh, got two hull left. Uh, Blount is uninjured, and Nora has lost all of her shields in one hull, so she's got five hull left. Um, <laughs> It's going to be a really important, interesting turn next time. Okay, so the movement went pretty much uh, as expected. So that turn went really well for me. A um, little bit of dice variance, um, forcing Jed into bad decisions, or forcing him to make decisions about whether or not to spend a focus. Um, he elected not to when he probably would have killed the shuttle so that he'd get a second shot at Luke. Um, then Luke double evaded, so that was great. Um, so yeah, I'm really super happy with how that went. And I think I've got Dash on the ropes, he should go down next turn. Don't feel in terms of engagement that it went great for me. Uh, I've not been able to pick off any of his ships yet. Uh, Dash is looking really bad on only two health. Things aren't going great. Uh, need a bit of fortune to help me out on the next round. This turn I think that um, Jed is going to sacrifice Dash. Um, he knows he's going to go down so he's going to try and get his double return fire uh, shot. So I think he's going to one straight right to the board edge um, and take a double focus. Um, so I'm going to try and pin through him in and get him killed as quickly and efficiently as possible. Right. So in terms of the next turn, uh, Wedge, now at full health, really needs to get back into the fight fast, uh, coming right into the mixer again. Um, Dash really needs to hang, hang in there, hopefully I'm going to turn away, maybe look at the barrel if I can dodge a few arcs and reduce damage going at him, hopefully keep him alive while Wedge gets back into the fight. So Sabine's going to activate first. Uh, I'm going to take a barrel roll. And I'm going to link that to an evade, which is red because I'm away from an obstacle. 
But then my one bank is green, so clear that stress. And focus. So next activation is Blount. Um, he's going to do a one straight, try and catch Dash down in this corner. Getting excited. That's how you can tell I've started getting shaky. My action is a focus. So Nora next. She's doing a one bank, which is going to take her over the top of that debris. So she takes a stress token. And I roll the dice and hope I don't get a crit. It's a hit, so nothing happens. Open S falls on look. I do a two bank, which is a green maneuver to clear this last stress. And that position doesn't look great for him. So I'm going to take a barrel roll to make sure I can get a shot on dash. So now to activate his dash, uh, he's going to be doing a hard free. What? Yeah, uh, for his action we'll just do a um, move into his gun. Okay, now it's Wedge to activate and he's going to be doing a four straight. He's still stressed, so there's no action for Wedge. Uh, so I'll start the engagement phase, it's Wedge to activate first. He's got a range free shot on modded on Sabine. Hopefully I can finish her off this turn as I miss the opportunity. On to Sabine, three dice, come on Wedge. She's fine. So I'll activate Nora first, range two, unmodified into dash. One hit. Two dice for dash. And that's one hit goes through. Okay, next activation is Luke, who has a range two shot again into dash. So here goes Luke with two force tokens. And I'll spend them both to secure the kill. Okay, so dash only has two dice, so he's definitely dying this turn, unfortunately. Takes a hit and a crit. So now it's dash to engage. Uh, he's in pilot initiative uh, five, so he still gets a shot before he dies. Uh, so hopefully he can take a shit before he goes. Okay, so uh, dash on to Luke. Hopefully you can get some revenge for killing him and take him with him. So that's three hits. Does it. So Luke avoids one, takes two, and he goes off as well. Yeah, so that's the engagement, end of that engagement phase. Uh, didn't go very well, Dash went, but oh, thankfully uh, Luke went as well. Got some thinking now, uh, Rich has certainly got the upper hand, but it's not over yet. So yeah, I finally killed Dash, um, managed to do an engage with Wedge um, out of uh, activation, so that was really, really good. Um, I'm a little bit maybe should have regenerated a shield with Luke um, and let the other three ships do the work on Dash because he was probably going to go down anyway um, but blood got up and I wanted to secure it so um, now I just have to get myself turned around and go back up see if I can kill Wedge before he kills me. Okay so that, uh, that round didn't quite go as I was hoping. I think what I should have done was probably suicide move Dash just one forward making sure I got a double shot with Bistan that would have been be the better option in that engagement because um, I only managed to take one ship with me. I could have potentially took two ships with me when I went. So at the minute this is in the balance because I've got one ship on two hull with two defence dice, um, Sabine. Um, Wedge could easily take her off the board and um, he could easily take Nora off the board as well. Um, she's got five hull left but a lucky crit or two um, and she could just explode so it's far from in the bag. Um, Next turn I'm going to spend turning around, I might have to trade shots with Wedge at range 3. He did manage to get Luke off the board, I've now just got Wedge though, on 2, he two health and 2 shields, so he's still fairly strong, I feel I've just got to pick off one ship at a time, uh, hopefully with the PS being 6 I can take one sh ships off before they damage me. Uh, so Sabine's going to activate first, I'm going to do her pre-move boost. And I'm going to reveal a 4k. She leaves her stressed, so no actions for her. And activate Blount, who is going to do a 3k. Also turn himself around. Uh, so Nora, who reveals 2. Uh, it's green because uh, she has the R4 astromech, and that clears stress. So her action is focus. And I was going to drop a bomb, but I completely forgot that you do it in the new system phase. So we're bombless this turn. Okay, so now Wedge is going to activate uh, with his S files closed, and uh, he's going to do a two bank, which is a blue mover clearing his stress. For his action, he's done a focus. So I'll start the engagement phase. Uh, Wedge to activate, and he's got a range free through the debris. So attack three dice at range free. Spend the focus for two hits. And Nora gets two dice. Uh, one for range three, one for the debris. Loses one because of wedge. Two evades. So nothing in range for either Blunt or Sabine. 
So that's the end of the engagement phase and we're back to dials. Okay, so that, that round's come to a conclusion now. I did manage to get a shot away with a wedge. I really could have done with pushing all that damage through, getting three hits really to get half health on the Y-Wing to give myself any chance of winning this. I feel the writing's slightly on the wall already because Dash is worth so many points and he's gone. So that's really swung it in his favour because this is going to be the last turn with timing wise. So that turn, because he didn't manage to push any damage through Nora and over the course of the last two or three turns has um, failed to kill the attack shuttle. I think it's pretty much over. I'm confident that I've got this one in the bag. Um, I'm ahead on points and if Wedge comes back in for an engage I can take half points on him as well. So last couple of turns of the game I think I've got this one. I'm going to try my best to get a few few points there. We'll see what I can get a few points here and there and lower the margin of victory. So this turn I'm basically going to uh, take blue moves with all of my ships. I'm going to focus with all of them and I'm going to point as many of the arcs as I can get on Wedge. So has has been hanging around for probably too many rounds right now really. She should have gone already. Hopefully I can take her this turn. Uh, so activating Sabine first of all. Uh, I'm doing a blue two straight. Clear the stress. Uh, because I think Wedge is going to come round that debris. I'm going to barrel roll to the right and then link it into an evade which is a white action because of that debris field. Activate Blount next. He's doing a blue two bank. Clear stress. Action. Focus. So last of all activate Nora. Doing it too hard. And then I'm never shooting wedge over there so I'm going to use the red barrel roll on the Y-wing to try and threaten a little bit more with my arc. Okay, now it's Wedge to activate. Uh, he's going to be doing a two straight with his S files open. Take a focus action. Okay, so start the uh, engagement. It's Wedge to fire first and he's going to take a range one on Sabine. Yeah, so it's Wedge uh, range one on Sabine. We've got four dice. Hopefully finally we can get her off the board with that one less agility that she's going to get with the green dice. Spend the focus token for two hits. And spend my evade token for one evade. I take one hit. Uh, so Blount has got a range two shot there onto uh, Wedge. Somehow um, he's got a third dice with Sabine surviving. Really wasn't expecting that. So um, I'll take all the breaks I can get. So three dice in a focus, Blount into Wedge. And two hits. Okay, two dice for Wedge, no focus token. Takes two hits, that's both shields gone. So um, last to activate is going to be Sabine, definitely my MVP. She does so much work for a 40 point ship. Um, really, really happy that I've put her in the list today. Uh, so I'm going to get range one shot, four dice into Wedge. So uh, Wedge has got two hull left, so can Sabine put the cherry on the cake? One hit, doesn't look like it. Double evades, so that's no hits for that. Yeah, so I've conceded that game, I could clearly see where it was going. Wedge was really on very low health. Even if we've had a few more turns, I feel Wedge would have gone anyway, despite being pilot skill 6. Uh, he was, yeah, with 2 agility, he would have gone. Yeah, so I think that's it now for the game, I'm going to concede this match. The writing is uh, clearly on the wall. Move that match to Rich. Well Cheers, played. Jay. Thank you, man. Good game, enjoyed it. Yeah, enjoyed that. So unfortunately, I uh, made a few wrong decisions in the game. Yeah, didn't quite go my way. Uh, well played, Rich. Deserved winner. So, um, obviously really pleased to get a win. I didn't think I would against that list flown by Jed. Um, he did really well with it at the last Tuesday night tournament at Element Games. Um, went 3-0 and um, and uh, topped the MOV, so I was um, a bit surprised. Um, I knew that Sabine was a really good ship. Um, I wasn't expecting her to do what she did today. Um, and I don't think I got best value out of Luke. Um, maybe he could have done a few things differently with him, um, breaking away the regen shields properly, uh, like Jed did with Wedge, um, so that I could come back in with uh, a little bit more wiggle room uh, for defence later on but um, overall I'm, I'm happy with how it went. Um, things that I would have changed, um, I tried to change my opening engagement to get Nora into range one of some enemy ships. Um, obviously harder with um, Wedge and Dash both moving after her um, but she really makes the list tick once she gets into range one of things and starts dropping proton bombs on people. Um, so if I was playing that game again I'd be focusing on trying to get Nora um, right up into Dash and Wedge's face as early as possible. Yeah so in the game I feel early decision Maybe I should have gone after the three ships with Dash and left Wedge to go after Luke on his own. Would have been getting to the side uh, two shots on the three ships. Um, towards the end of the game, should have just moved Dash one forward, one straight uh, to 
get a double shot that would have possibly took out Sabine and Luke in one turn, leaving Wedge just against two ships. Might have had more of a chance there of getting the victory. Um, so a couple of decisions that, could, you know, if you could have gone back in time would have changed. Yeah, it's, um, the list is, is an interesting one. I've not actually flown it before today. Um, I was going to fly Dash until we realised that would have been really boring. Um, so I had a Sabine attack shuttle. She was really good. Um, I know that Luke, Supernatural Luke is really good. Um, so, and then Blount's a really cheap filler ship um, who synchronises nicely with Nora. So um, I can't take any credit for the list as a whole. Um, I shamelessly stole it off the internet. Um, and I would encourage anybody else to, to do likewise because it's for very unique, um, individually good ships. Well, really enjoyed the match eh? and looking forward to being on again in the future. Yeah, I really enjoyed that game today. It's always good to play in Shed. Um, we both have a similar approach to the game because we like to fly towards each other and throw dice um, rather than all this cagey cat and mice nonsense. So it's always refreshing. Uh, it's a good laugh. So there you go, Star Pilots, episode four of our Sift Take 2.0 game. It is over, it has been done. Great to see another two completely different 2.0 lists than what we've seen before. Great game, fellas. I think it could have gone either way at one point, uh, but as is the case when you get two good players playing against each other, there are always fine margins. I'm sure you guys are looking forward to seeing these guys back again in the future. And if you'd like that, do leave us some feedback in the comments below. It does help massively. And keep on commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. We'll be back with episode five, hopefully, very, very, very soon. So until then, guys, happy extra.